Now, uh, I've done a little bit of this already, but let's cover it just to make sure. The relationship between 1s, 2s, and 3s. So if I'm going to draw all three of these on the same set of axes, our nucleus is right here, and you just have to draw basically the Bohr picture with uh, 1s, 2s, and 3s. So, and then, so 4 would be bigger, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. The 2s also has the 2p in it, and the 3s also has the 3p and the 3d sublevels in it as well. Okay. And then the relationship between 2s and 2p. Well, let's try and draw this about the same. So there's 2s from up above. And we said that the 2p's... Are, and this is going to be 2px. So the 2p's uh, don't touch the nucleus and they end at about the same distance away from the nucleus as the 2s does.